Well, economists say things are looking up on the employment front in 2011, but the recession has left its impact. Layoffs, downsizing, midlife career changes have become all too common, as you probably know. But whether you're an experienced worker, a newcomer to the workforce, or somebody who is transitioning between jobs, we've got some practical advice for you this morning. Kimberly Bishop is a nationally recognized authority on recruitment and job searches. She has written this book. It really is terrific. It is called Get Down to Business and You'll Get the Job. Kimberly Kimberly really joins us this morning as part of our book author series. Okay, I know the title says it all. Get down to business and you'll get the job. But That's right. You know, it's interesting because a lot of people who are finding themselves unemployed today haven't had to look for a job in, in years. So, right. of course, they're very rusty. What should they do? Well, they really need to take a step back. The, the, the thing that people will want to do is start updating their resume and getting out there and applying for positions and that's the wrong thing to do. So that's the wrong thing that's to do. That's the wrong thing okay. to do. You want to take a step back and spend some time thinking about your career. What have you done? Where have you had great accomplishments? All the jobs that you've had over the course of your career and then start thinking about what are my transferable skills? Oh. What do I like to do? What do I want to do next? Yeah. And from there we get into the process of updating that resume figuring out the kinds of positions you want to go after and going into the interviewing process. And here's the other interesting part about it is for those folks, when they were applying for jobs years ago, now the job market is such a different place because we've got social media. Well, it's totally different today. I mean, it used to be that your resume was kind of the advertisement about yourself, and then you'd get called in for the interview so you could tell the rest of the story. Mm -hmm. Today, you should be on LinkedIn and have a profile there. You should have a resume that's probably between two to four pages. The myth of the one-page resume, one resume is gone. That's gone. Okay, okay. You know, today it should be two to four pages, social networking, traditional networking, mm. all of those things need to be part of your process. You know, and for some people who um, are now finding themselves unemployed and victims of the recession, it's been a complete career change. They're like, okay, I've done that for 30 years. I want to do something else these days. When they go into the interview process, this is an entirely different animal for them, though, right, in terms of interviewing, if they're changing careers completely. It's completely different. And here would be a couple of tips for mm -hmm. that process. One is, we're really conditioned when we go into an interview to start saying, well, I worked at this company and this mm -hmm. was my title, mm -hmm. and then they tell a little bit about what they did there. What I would suggest is go in and talk about your skills. Talk about your experiences. Instead of saying, I was the manager at XYZ Company, go in and say, I'm a real leader. Here are the things that I really excelled at in my oh. last position. So talk, again, skills and experiences versus job titles and companies. The other thing in making a career change is, again, transferable skills and being able to talk about why you would be good in this next field okay. and really selling yourself. I mean, one of the things that's so important is for people to have the confidence to be upbeat and not afraid to say, mm -hmm. They want the job. But here's why I'm shaking my head, because you, and you know, you, you've done this for, mi for many years, CEO of your own career management leadership services company. You help companies hire. You help individuals get hired. That's not always easy, Kimberly, to sell yourself, because a lot of people think they don't want to be braggadocious. They don't want to toot their own horns. But they could be tooting themselves right out of the job, right? Well, if you don't toot your own horn, and if you don't sell yourself, somebody else is going to sell themselves, and they're the ones that are going to get the job. Mm -hmm. So often, I will have a client call me after an interview and say, you know, we really liked that candidate, but we're not sure they were interested in the job. And then the candidate calls me and says, oh, I hope I get the position. So a big important piece of information is if you want the job, tell that company how excited you are, why you want to work there, why you would be thrilled to be a part of the team. People love hearing that. Companies love to hear that. That's great advice. And so at the end of the day, then, what do you hope that people learn from the book? And I think the title kind of hints at it, but what is the takeaway? That they really need to treat their job search like a job. They need a schedule. They need a plan. They need to map it out and follow it step by step to get through the whole process and have the confidence they need to get the job. All right. You hire, Kimberly. Yeah, I'll hire you. <laughs> okay, super. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks for sharing this information with us on the show this morning. It's great to be here. Thank you. And once again, the book is called Get Down to Business and You'll Get the Job. For more information on the book or Kimberly, please visit her website. It is KimberlyBishop.net.